make a mess. Seven of the most amazing pumpkin artists are facing off in a carving competition that is on fire. Blowtorch. Yeah, so we have seen her carve crazy creatures out of pumpkin, detailed designs, sometimes gory gores. And this Sunday, you can see her put her skills to the test on Food Network's Outrageous Pumpkins. Monique Hawk is with me now. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? You're kind of in a spooky uh, area. It looks like just a black curtain. I really tried to bring in the ambiance. I got this black sheet from Amazon, and I feel really professional right now. So <laughs> you look great. You are so talented uh, with these pumpkins here. Now, obviously, we've seen you compete as part of a team, but this year you're going head to head against other carvers. Tell us about the show and your background. These carvers are the best in the country. So when I heard about the idea of outrageous pumpkins, I really liked it because you don't have to rely on a cake or sugar artist. It's just you, it's just your talent. And then you can see what you're actually made of against these other carvers. Um, I've worked with some of them before. They're all amazing people. We have a professional chainsaw artist. Uh, we have Willie who works on food professionally. So it was just, it was a really cool experience. I mean, I'm, I'm legitimately impressed. What is your background? How are you able to do this? I've been into art my whole life. My parents used to have pumpkin carving parties and one day I just picked up the sculpting side and kind of went with it. So for the past eight years or so, I've been sculpting pumpkins and it still kind of blows my mind. <laughs> it's a weird thing to be good at, I think. No, but it's appreciated by everyone, <laughs> obviously. Now the host of the show, Allison Hannigan, you made it what, through two episodes so far? How does it work? Yes, so there's four episodes total. We had seven carvers to start with, and it's an elimination process. So we start with a small scare. We have about an hour and a half, two hours to do that. And then the final scare, which we have six hours to create. I mean, when they say outrageous, it really is outrageous. We're expected to use 10 pumpkins, 15 pumpkins in such a short time span. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. And one of them was what focused on deadly sins and you got gluttony. I don't know if we have, do we have a picture or video of that gluttonous pumpkin? I think, oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me how you made that? I, when I, so when I got gluttony, I was really excited. I really liked the food aspect of it. And I was thinking of the movie uh, Ghostbusters, you know, the Slimer creature yeah. who just kind of eats everything. So I wanted to sort of bring that to life. And we had to use one of the really large pumpkins. So I took two of those pumpkins, I stacked it on top of each other. And then with the remaining pumpkins, I made food. So the pizza you see is made from pumpkin. There was a hamburger that was all made from pumpkin, which is really easy to do at home. You don't have to be a professional sculptor if you look at the hamburger there. I'm impressed. And I know you have a pumpkin friend with you as well, right? Do you want to introduce your, your pumpkin there? Yes, so I know um, there's a couple scary things going on this year, but I know one of them. Uh, for humans, we have the Corona. For pumpkins, he has the Gord Rona. So this is my pumpkin friend here. He's socially distanced with his pumpkin mask. Mm -hmm. um, all of this is sculpted, and then I painted a little bit. But this is made from another pumpkin as well. I just sliced off some of the skin and then started sculpting the mask. And then the eyeballs bulge out right wow. there. You know, and it's good to see that he is wearing the mask appropriately, covering yeah. his nose as well. So thank you for that. Yes. We took notes <laughs> for the past few months. Do you have any tips for people carving pumpkins at home? The rest of us are, uh, we don't have talent like you do. <laughs> I usually get asked a lot about preservation. Uh, pumpkins don't really last a whole long time. So I use a bleach water solution that I put over the top of the pumpkin afterwards. Vaseline actually works really well, surprisingly. It keeps the moisture in. And sometimes if I have the room, I put it in the refrigerator. So that'll make the pumpkin last uh, definitely a couple days longer. Okay, um, Monique. As for tools, I, I get my tools on Amazon, nothing expensive. I get clay ribbon tools, um, not usually the cheap packets that you get in the store with the booklets. Those knives tend to break a lot and you can cut your fingers, Amazon. <laughs> so there you go. You don't have to spend a lot to make some great artwork here. This Sunday on the Food Network, you're carving zombie beasts. So everyone tune in to see Monique and her talent. You got this, girl. Thank you. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Bye, Monique.